guys. I thought I would uh, make a video of this Samsung, the original Samsung phone, in fully working condition. I thought I would make a teardown video. Well, not a tear, a video of the deconstruction or me taking it apart and reassembling it. Now this is going to be a pretty blind video because I really don't know what exactly I'm doing because I really don't know that much about I know this phone but I'm not 100% on uh, what it's what's going to be internals internally. I know there's going to be there's not going to be an, there's not going to be a battery internally because the back just snaps off. I got my wonderful little tray for all my screws and my um, screw kit. This is uh, I got this from Advanced Auto. It's pretty cheap, but it works. So give me a second, and I'll uh, get back to y'all. Oh yeah, one feature I do love on this phone. I think that's awesome. How it has the little sliding door thing. Okay, here's the back of the phone. Before I tear it apart. Got your Samsung original battery I believe it's the original that and then uh yeah I'll get back to y'all see if I can actually set this up so y'all can see hopefully what I'm doing yeah that's good I got my uh, screwdriver I'm gonna use the smallest screw or the smallest screw head I can get. It is a, um, I don't know if this means anything, but CR slash VPH three zeros. That's about it. The screws come out all the way. not really worried about really this phone doesn't have service I don't think it has had service in years but I'm not the original owner this was uh, I think it was I don't know I think it was given to me by someone I don't remember I do like, I do take things apart like this a lot, but at the same time, I really am not 100% on what I'm doing at most of the time. Most of, the, most of the things I take apart are junk items that I'm just looking for parts, like um, copper, wire, and other things. But most of the time, I just rip them apart. I do, like, take out all the screws and everything, but most of the time, it's just not planning on reassembling it. You know, breaking wires, so on and so forth. Um, like old cable boxes that are obsolete, that just people have accumulated, that they're about to throw away. I'll take them apart for copper wiring and... Uh, just other stupid stuff like capacitors. I, um, a few of them have big capacitors in them, and I've been trying to get a disposable camera for that capacitor because there's a lot you can do with it, and they're not very expensive. But buying the capacitor alone is expensive and hard to find. That screw will not come out. Okay, well, I give up on 
my screw. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show tearing it apart, getting uh, getting it into two separate pieces. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that, but this screw set costs me eight dollars, and it also has a flexible um, uh, attachment. worth the money. It's not the greatest thing though. I wish the uh, handle handle was better. Sort of cheap. But it was a whole eight dollars. Oh yes, and one of the future things I'm, talk I'm thinking about uh, taking apart on this channel is this. There's only one screw, and I'm pretty sure all of it just slides out. But it's an arc glider I got it off of. Oh, it's, it's died. It's dead. But yeah, it cost me 16 bucks off Amazon. Bought it myself with the Amazon gift card. Do I have that Amazon gift card? Yeah, here it is. Since I, myself, don't have a card, I have to buy everything off Amazon with an Amazon gift card. Any relevant crap I'm just talking about. Okay. Back to the teardown. Well, I don't really want to break it. That's, I, I, I use this phone for stupid stuff. Like, I have email addresses on this that are just garbage, but you can see it's a pretty beat up phone anyways well it won't focus but all of the corners are beat to crap but I do want to save the phone after this I just got my nails cut so it ain't this isn't really ooh, there we go ah, got it out off camera This is a lot of, this is probably going to be a very boring video, being that a lot of this stuff I can't do on camera because I don't have an available way to put it up on, to put, because I record this with my phone, so I don't have a way to stand my phone up to record this, and it's just really awkward. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap out my thing to get a flat head. To go ahead and do the rest of it with well to pry it apart because my my fingers are cut yeah I got my nails cut I had to do it it's been a while bad thing about this screw set it's very difficult if you want to get like um one of these small bits out like that one well, bad representation, but like something stupid like this, they're in there so tight that they're almost impossible to get out. There we go. Now y'all are up a little higher. Here, here I can actually just set y'all on the phone. Okay. Genius at work. I seen one of those little uh, signs they had in that, uh, I don't know. I'm just rambling onto a camera. My life. Great, right? I've taken this phone apart before, and I didn't do anything damaging to it. I don't. I can't crack the screen. Well, I'm pretty sure I could, but the screen is plastic, I believe. Yeah, it's plastic. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, King of Random. I'm going to be putting a, a video up soon of me, uh, his uh, How to Make a Sugar Rocket video. I couldn't get the rocket to launch off. But it does give a very bright and hot flame off. 
while it's sitting there. I don't know what I did wrong. I'll have to rewatch the video to see how he does it. Because, you know, I'm a screw up and I can't do it. But I can make the rocket fuel. Or the mixture that powers the rocket. With potato. How long is this video so far? This video is only one minute so far. Yeah, I feel like I've been here for ten minutes trying to get this phone apart. Ha ha! Oh, maybe not ha ha. Oh, yeah, I got it. I gotta get it the rest of the way apart. Okay, it's not wanting to come apart. I know how it comes apart, because I've done this before. You know, I didn't decide to record it, because at the time I didn't have this YouTube channel. And, well, this video probably won't be viewed but by friends and maybe an angry dad. Well, like, how dare you take your phone apart? You know, predicting the future, right? Okay, I officially have the phone apart. There's all the circuitry, the camera. Uh -huh. It does not have a forward facing camera. Very upsetting. Well, you know, to be the original Samsung, it's a very good phone. Even to today's standards, I think, I think if you just didn't do anything serious, like getting on the internet a lot, this could be a totally, you could totally still use this phone today. You know, the phone I'm recording on is uh, Motorola and I'm never taking that apart. I, I, I refuse to. But there it is. And that's as far as I'm going to dig. Because I don't want to break it. Because I'm a retard. But okay, you got your. Let's go ahead and just point out a few things. Let's go ahead and get out of my pointer tool. Oh, never mind. 13 minutes. So, okay, there we go. There's the speaker. Camera. Let's see, there's your slot, but you can see that before you take it apart. There's where you put your SD card. There's the screw hole. There's the charger. Well, the, char the um, micro USB port. There's your headphone jack. Shout out to Apple, destroying the headphone jack. I don't use Apple, though. So, yeah, there is everything. Got a few... That's as far as I'm taking it apart, and for today, that's a peace out.